Hi everyone, good afternoon. Like today we are going to discuss about some uh, basic level of interview questions of in real time. Like uh, nowadays like the, in interview purpose, perspective like they will ask some basic questions like about like sandboxes and productions environments. So this kind of questions they will ask like uh, interviewers. So we'll see like what are the uh, interview questions they will ask in production on sandbox level. We'll see that. So go to here. I mentioned to you. Slide show beginning. Okay. So first of all, like we are going to discussing about some configuration perspective interview questions like uh, sandbox. What are the sandbox types and what are the sandbox? What are the production sandbox URLs? Those kind of interview questions we'll discuss today. Like what is configuration? So interview perspective, they they will ask like uh, which uh, uh, oh, where you worked on that in Salesforce, like either configuration side or customization side, they, they will ask some uh, random questions, right? So have you worked on some configuration side? Have you worked on some customization side, right? So first of all, like what is configuration? So configuration is nothing but yeah, like without coding. Configuration is nothing but yeah, like without coding by using point and click approach, right? So there is no coding in configuration side, like using point and click approach. So we can configure the uh, uh, functional list without any coding. So this is the configuration. Like they will ask a like simple question, like what is cloud computing? So if there is no, I mean, if they don't know uh, cloud computing, they will ask this kind of questions, right? Or they know something uh, cloud computing, or they will expecting something more on your like information. They they will ask this kind of questions, like what is cloud computing? So cloud computing is nothing but yeah, like pictorial representation of internet is a cloud. Cloud computing is nothing but yeah, like internet computing, right? So without internet, we can't do anything in cloud computing, right? Like even Salesforce also, right? So with this application, like with this approach, we can done anything in, in the internet, like using applications and development, developing applications, troubleshooting hardware. So there is no software to install in this. Uh, cloud computing right so whatever we are using like salesforce so there is no uh, software to install in this salesforce like you can say cloud computing right so in cloud computing is an approach like it is an approach to provide the following services like SaaS, pass and as like software as a service platform as a service and infrastructure as a service so these are the three approaches like cloud computing will be providing Right, so we'll go to next. What is Salesforce? Salesforce is nothing but a company. Right, say so Salesforce is nothing but a company. First of all, Salesforce is nothing but a company and it's a technology. Salesforce is a company which provides a web based tool called Salesforce. So, earlier we discussed already, right, like cloud computing providing the some approaches like SaaS and PaaS. Right. So providing the sales, marketing and call center application is a service about SaaS. PaaS means providing the force.com platform each. We can develop the Apex like programming language similar to core Java and visual force uh, pages like similar to HTML logic something. So this is nothing but a like Salesforce. First of all, Salesforce is nothing but a company and it's a technology. So we can explain these four points to the interior or recruiter. They will satisfy it. So we'll go to next question. So what is production? So generally you can say production is the sandbox. Production is the sandbox. So in this production, we cannot make any changes. Or you we should not make any changes into the production directly. Since end users are using the application from production environment. Right, so we are not doing any changes directly into the production. If you want to do any changes into the production, then we have to follow the deployment process. Like, so we need to build some application into the developer sandbox and we need to move to SIT. SIT means system integration test. And after that, we have to move to the UAT means user accept test. Then after that, we have to move to the production. So it's nothing but a production. Like what is a production? We cannot do any changes directly to the production. It's a uh, end user platform environment so we can't do anything on directly into the production environment right so what is a production url 
so everybody is knows already right production url means login.salesforce.com login.salesforce.com is a production url and so whenever we creating the even free developer edition also that same url what was the same url name like login.salesforce.com so production url also save and free developer edition free url also save and the trial head account also same like login.salesforce.com right only difference should be the like uh, sandboxes like uh, I mean SIT, EVD and uh, pre-prod sandbox will be different like test.salesforce.com so it, it, uh, next question will come that, come at that same right so what is sandbox what is sandbox to make any changes for the existing application we should copy all content from the production into the sandbox and make all changes after the test thoroughly and move those changes to the, the production to create a sandbox so how we, we are going to create the sandbox see in production we have an option called create sandbox by clicking on that option so we can choose any copy of other sandbox right so sandbox what is the sandbox is the sandbox any changes you can existing application it should be copy of all content of the production means so we are creating the one sandbox from production right so this is the sandbox what is the sandbox url like test.salesforce.com earlier we discussed about what is a production url right login.salesforce.com right and coming to developer free edition account also login.salesforce.com right and trial it also by using login.salesforce.com url we are using but except sandbox test.salesforce.com okay so other, another question what are the types of sandboxes so what are the types of sandboxes so developer sandbox developer pro sandbox partial data sandbox and full copy sandbox so these are the salesforce uh, uh, terminology sand um, names right you can say developer sandbox developer pro and partial data sandbox and full copy sandbox right these are, these are the uh, four type of sandbox will be there but in real time i mean some of the companies they will call it like sit system integration sandbox and UAT user acceptance sandbox and production or some companies like they will call as a QA and developer sandbox QA quality uh, sandbox and staging and production like some companies are following like QA1 QA2 and QA3 or production something so sandbox should be same but names are the difference so we'll go to the next question so what is the developer sandbox it's a copy only configuration changes from the production so how we are going to create the sandbox in production so we have option called create sandbox so those options we are going to create the developer sandbox right what is the developer sandbox it copy only configuration changes from the production it won't copy any real-time data we can test the configuration changes with sample data into the developer sandbox so its sample data limit should be 200 MB. The size of the developer sandbox should be 200 MB only. Refresh internal is a one day. Like when we are refreshing the developer sandbox, it should be internal time should be the like only one day. And if we refresh all the sandbox content, will be replaced with the production content. So whenever we are going to refresh the developer sandbox, it should be from production only. So next. So what is developer pro sandbox it should be same like copy of configuration changes no real time data copied sample data should be 1 gb refresh type interval one day right it should be a developer sandbox i mean developer pro sandbox next partial data sandbox copy configuration changes copy certain amount of real time data see here certain amount of real time data not entire data okay so real time data limit should be 5 gb for each table each table it can be copied maximum of 10 lakh records i mean 10000 records 10k records refresh interval 5 days right what is full copy sandbox full full copy sandbox is nothing but here exact replica of production exact replica of production copy both configuration entire real-time data from the production 
entire real time data from the production the refresh interval time should be like 29 days it should be a 29 days what is deployment flow what is deployment flow right so here we need to remember some key points of deployment flow so whenever we uh, implemented some changes those those changes should be in developer sandbox right so after that we need to move sit after that we need to move evat and production right how we are going to move those changes to the sit by using deployment tools right by using deployment tools so what are the deployment tools here salesforce by defaultly giving deployment tool called chain set right by using chain sets we can deploy the components so other we have some other other third party applications also will be there like uh, ant ant migration tool and uh, workbench and copado and vs code auto rabbit so we have some different different deployment tools will be there for third party applications also so by using those tools we can deploy the changes to the one environment to the another environment in between some companies are using like gitlab and github something else right so what is the deployment flow in the sense like we need to say so deployment deployment flow is a, a combination of um, like uh, different sandbox environments moving one sandbox to another sandbox by components gives exactly definition of deployment flow means so whatever we implement changes into the developer sandbox we need to move to sit sit means system integration test and test we have to move to the user accept test after that once everything looks good sit and uat then we have to move to the production by using some different deployment tools so these are the uh, basic level of interview questions of sandboxes and productions i mean production sandboxes and uh, basic level of interview questions of about uh, admin perspective sandboxes questions sandbox interview questions okay from next video like uh, uh, i'm going to upload some different uh, configuration changes like uh, basic level of admin configuration changes will be there right with some different topics like uh, relationships and violation rules so process builder flows flows uh, workflow rules so those kind of stuff i will upload some next video okay thank you thanks for watching